So, I just thought I'd like to update you about my Blackby Passport, which received the 10.3.1 OS update last week, and the massive flickering bug, bug that has affected so many people. Uh, so what I've done, because I actually had a much bigger problem than, than just a flickering. What I had, what issues I had with my passport was random rebooting and it was occurring about a dozen times a day. So what I've done is done a factory reset and I've not restored uh, from link. I mean, I did do a backup but i just done a complete factory reset and then I manually reinstalled applications and data separately. So I just want to show you how my device is performing now because the flickering bug is still there. I've not received the fix yet. That's currently being tested by a very, very small group. And my device is a carry-on locked passport. So it came from car phone warehouse in Selfridges in London so I don't think it is included in the shop Black Blackberry or the Amazon devices um, but that's for somebody else to speculate or confirm I show my device now because the flickering has returned but it's not the biggest thing so compared to what the problem that I had before so as you can see, you can see a slight flicker there. I've just opened this browser from a shortcut. Um, so this is basically, well, this is a this is the browser, um, but, well, if yours an iPhone, this would be an app. Um, obviously on Blackberry, you don't have that. So, as you can see, the flickering is clearly there. Um, if I try and play something. Didn't marry the person that you loved. And you might go through life and never meet somebody again that you felt the same way about. So, um, for me, I would have to stick with. So it's clearly like oh, let's close it off now and try again. Okay, the flickering is gone, and as I've already mentioned. This is still software release. Let's just focus that for you. 1565. And the OS. Yeah, the OS is still uh, 2243. So um, obviously I've not received it. And if I do try and search for it over the air on my device here. As you can see, I've got nothing. So I'm still waiting for that, but I'm prepared to wait. I mean, I could have installed the leak of the uh, 2480, but even then, it's still not confirmed yet because it's still being tested. So if anybody is experiencing severe rebooting problems, my advice would be to do a factory reset. Well, back up first your device to link. Do a factory reset. So go to uh, security, security wipe. Wait for your device to reset completely. Then manually set up everything again. So, so don't do a full backup because what I done when I first purchased this passport, I immediately uh, restored my old device, my Black PZ10, to my passport, and I think that was where the, most of the problems uh, came from. I've now re uh, re resetted it, and because it's not been restored, I've manually put everything back in. I don't have as many problems. So I hope this video does help out a lot of people as well. Thank you for watching.